What's going on people? Welcome back to the channel. I've just bought myself a new project car and I'm really excited to show you guys what car it is. For a little bit of context behind why I chose this car specifically. So about two months ago, before I even bought this car, uh, me and my boy went on a drift experience. Prior to that, I had not really driven a rear-wheel drive car, let alone drift one. But I soon found out that rear-wheel drive cars are extremely fun and not as intimidating as I thought. So then after that day, I just thought I need to get a real drive car. So this car is real drive. I'm really excited for you guys to see this. I think you guys are really going to like this one. Um, but yeah, without further ado, here is my new car. So here it is, this is my new project car. It is a 2006 BMW E46 330Ci Coupe in sparkling graphite metallic. So this car has the M54 3 liter six cylinder naturally aspirated petrol engine. Uh, making around 230 brake from factory. Overall, it's quite clean. Apparently the valve cover gasket is quite common on these. Doesn't look like there's any oil leaking from it. I think it has been done in its lifetime once already. We have got slight oil mist in from the Vanos line here. The expansion tank is also another common thing on these cars. They tend to crack. However, this one was just replaced. Looks like we've got some misting of power steering fluid coming out from the reservoir. We've also got a crack in the screen wash reservoir. I did fill this up to the brim when I first bought it come back out to it the next day and it was like half full so yeah we've definitely got a leak there somewhere i think it's most probably the reservoir itself moving on to the alloys it's got the 18 inches the previous owner just had these refurbed as well so they're looking quite clean so this car at the moment is completely standard um, no modifications done to it as far as i know moving on to the rear of the vehicle we've got the led rear tail lights which look amazing so taking a look into the boot very spacious boot we've actually got what looks like the full bmw toolkit i don't know if there's meant to be it looks like there is meant to be something there but everything else is here bmw branded tools which is nice we've also got the bmw emergency triangle there uh, if we look in here got the CD changer which is pretty cool pretty cool little gimmick no spare wheel unfortunately but yeah at least there's no water in there no signs of any water ingress or anything like that which is good all the windows work which is weird for a BMW at this age we are actually missing the the torch the BMW torch isn't there we've also got electric folding seats which all work as well um, on the driver's side let's go to the driver's side on the driver's side you can actually set three different seat positions and the car will actually memorize 
your seat positions and I think it also includes the wing mirror positions as well so you can just press the button and it will set those up all to your preference. So since this car is the M Sport trim level um, we've also got the M kick plates there and the M on the steering wheel just there. We've also got half Alcantara half fabric seats. We've got the M Sport um, lever round steering wheel. We've got the um, wiper stalk here and for some reason they've put they've put another stalk on the left. Yeah I'm not really too sure what that does but anyway moving on. We've also got the six speed manual gearbox which um, I think is quite rare on these E46s from what I've been told. Commonly they come with the five speed manual so um, yeah that's quite nice to have. No aux so to play music just got myself a little FM transmitter for the time being. So the car is currently on 104,113 miles. Um, and we're currently getting 22.5 mpg got a little scrape there looks like uh, number plate bolts are completely corroded so definitely have to get new ones of those um, a bit of condensation in the right fog light as well so it's quite common for these cars to rust on the inner arch this one isn't too bad we've got a little bit of bubbling just starting there and a bit of rust just on that inner, inner arch there as well um, but yeah again for the age and the mileage I don't think it's too bad we have a look on the other side the other arch yeah not really only very slight bubbling on that, on that bit of the arch there and we've got a bit of bubbling here as well definitely have to get that sorted um, also got a little bit of a a little bit of a scrape there as well and some scrapes on the door handle and here as well also another thing I see there's play in the wheel another common thing on these cars is the um, lower control arm wishbone bushings tend to go which mine have because when you when I drive it there's just a loud knocking noise coming from the front so I definitely want to get those done I'll probably put some uprated ones in there since I'm changing them already got a slight knocking from the rear as well which I'm not sh too sure where it is might be diff bushing yeah overall I'm, I'm pretty happy with the car I haven't really seen one this clean uh, for this price yeah I'm really happy to have bought this at the time I have I feel like the values just gonna go up on these cars so future plans for this car I want to try and make it a clean sort of project um, occasionally take it on some drift days um, but yeah just a bit of fun I plan to um, document everything I do to this car and um, so we'll probably start off with the maintenance and stuff like that and then move on to like any mods uh, maybe coilovers wheels but yeah might as well get some sound clips um, it's on a completely stock exhaust at the moment but yeah cool let me start her up before you guys start commenting the engine is warm it's at operating temperature For a stock exhaust, I think it sounds sounds alright, but I definitely need an exhaust on there just to deepen the tone a bit. I'm really excited to start um, filming content on this car. I feel like it's going to be a really fun one to document. I know you guys are going to be enjoying this one as well. Stay tuned. We've got lots planned. We've got drift days planned, a few mods and stuff like that. So yeah, I think I think this is going to be a really good this is going to be a really good series for the channel um, documenting this car. And um, yeah, I hope you guys like it. Um, other than that, yeah, I don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of the car. What mods do you think I should do to the car? But yeah, other than that, see you lot in the next one. Love.